Oh my god. I actually, how did I not see this? The Witcher announces fifth season will be the last as Liam Hemsworth joins the cast. Wow, that's really a vote of approval. Like, what if he comes into the role and he's great? It doesn't matter, it's over. The reason why he's never gonna be like Henry Cavill is because everybody already has it in their mind that, oh, The Witcher is Henry Cavill. You can't beat people's expectations. It's like this dude is just getting fucked. It's not necessarily about shitting on a new guy for me, it's what they did to Cavill for me. Well, I don't really like, look, I thought season one of The Witcher was actually pretty pretty good. I watched it two times even. I watched it once myself and then I watched it with my mom. Each one is getting worse. Season two butchered characters core values. Yeah, um, this is what happens I think with a lot of shows is that the people who hurts. write the shows, they think that they can do a better job than the guy who they paid more money than all of the writers put together just for the honor of being able to use his source material. Like that's the, the they think they can do a better job than him. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> just stop it. I really loved how, like, the person who cast Yennefer was like, yeah, I wanted to cast this person because they weren't very attractive. Like, that's, like, very clearly what they implied. And I was thinking to myself, man, that's that's kind of fucked up to say. My God, no, I, I swear to God, I swear to God. Like, look it up, and it was, like, the casting director or something like that said explicitly that she wanted to cast someone who would challenge traditional beauty ideals. Uh, why well, she chose to race replace Yennefer and The Witcher. I'm always the first to champion diversity in all its glory. One of that springs to mind was the character of Jennifer of The Witcher. Especially in fantasy world, it felt like these worlds were predominantly white. And I remember saying, I feel like we need to challenge what people think of as a standard beauty. Having a woman of color in this role does incredibly powerful things to the people that are watching. And what does that mean? Whenever you hear challenging traditional beauty ideals, that's whenever you put a 300 pound model on the front of a magazine. That's crazy. It doesn't mean she's fugly. Oh, I don't know. I, I mean, if I had read that and I was her, I'd have been like, I know what you're trying to say. Uh-huh. Right. Exactly.